Plating is a layer of metal coating an object of a different type of metal. The purpose can be decorative, as in silver plating, or practical. With industrial parts, for instance, zinc or cadmium plating prevents the underlying metal from rusting, while nickel or chrome plating protects against wear. You can plate almost any type of metal. Let's follow some steel aerospace parts as they're about to be plated with cadmium to make them corrosion resistant. For the plating metal to bond properly, the steel surface must be free of contaminants such as oil and grease. Workers suspend the parts over a vat of boiling chemical solvents. As the hot vapor comes into contact with the colder metal, it condenses, dripping down into the vat and taking any contaminants along with it. The remaining solvent residues evaporate, leaving the parts squeaky clean and dry. Next, a worker wearing protective clothing sandblasts the parts with aluminum oxide powder, a strong abrasive. This roughens up the surface so that the plating metal will adhere better. The most common plating metals for industrial purposes are zinc, chrome, and nickel. Think motorcycle parts or sink faucets. Decorative items, on the other hand, are more likely to be plated in tin, brass, gold, or silver. Traditional tea sets, for instance, are often made of silver-plated copper or zinc. The plating process is called electroplating because the key to it all is electricity. They start by tying strands of copper wire to a copper support frame copper being the best metal for conducting electricity. Then they attach the steel parts they'll be plating. When they hook up this support to an electric current, electricity will run from the support through these wires right to the pieces. They do the electroplating in a tank. After filling it with water, they add a handful of chemicals to help conduct electricity, because water alone won't conduct it sufficiently. Along the sides of the tank, in bags, are metal baskets. They contain bars or balls of the plating metal, in this case cadmium. Workers connect the support frame with the steel parts to the negative terminal of an electric source the baskets of cadmium to the positive terminal. Then they switch on a steady DC current, no stronger than six volts. The electricity dissolves the cadmium, lacing the particles with a positive charge. They travel through the water and attach themselves to the negative charged steel parts, creating a smooth and even layer of cadmium. Thin plating requires just a few minutes in the tank, thick plating several hours. Then workers rinse the parts in water for about a minute to remove the chemical residues. To make the parts even more rust resistant, workers immerse them in a series of compounds. This triggers a chemical reaction in the plating, enhancing its ability to withstand corrosion. This reaction, however, changes the color. A final rinse in hot water, and this cadmium-plated steel aerospace part is finally ready. From start to finish, the process has about 90 minutes. To plate with chrome or gold, they have to use a chemical compound containing gold or chromium. That's because electricity can't dissolve solid chromium well enough, and it can't dissolve solid gold at all. The compound dissolves in the bath like salt, but then solidifies once it reaches the object being plated. Metal plating is very durable, but if subjected to a lot of wear and tear, the object will eventually have to be replated.